Hello and welcome, my name is Thomas and in this video we're gonna be talking about how to create content that becomes popular. Okay, so this is gonna be a pretty short video but I just wanted to share with you some tips as you start creating content. Because one of the things that you hear out there all the time, you see hacks and you see videos or articles about how to create viral content. And at the end of the day, the term viral is pretty vague and am ambiguous as it is. But in terms of trying to create viral content, it's a losing battle at the very start because when it comes to viral content, and I'm talking about things that blow up and get millions, tens of millions of views or plays uh, out of nowhere, you can't really predict that. And so that's why if anybody's out there telling you how to get something to go viral, it's probably not uh, going to be entirely helpful or accurate or truthful. However, there are some ways to give yourself the best possible chance of success. And there are some simple things that you can do to do that. So as you may have seen, this YouTube channel in particular is relatively small. We're about to cross at this point 6,000 subscribers, which I'm super happy about. But in the grand scheme of YouTube channels out there, that's still relatively a small channel, right? However, what you may notice is that there's some videos on this channel that have upwards. I've got one that's over 300,000 views and others that are like 40 or 50 or 70,000 views. Um, number of views that are way beyond the number of subscribers I have. And so I've had a number of people ask me uh, over the last few months uh, or even ever since those particular videos have started to become popular on YouTube, what did you do to do that? Uh, what type of camera were you using? What type of keywords did you stick in there? What was, you know, why did you pick that particular headline? Things like that. And so what I wanted to do is just kind of share with you my process and kind of the thinking behind and how those videos came to become a little bit higher up on the view count, I guess you can say, particularly here on YouTube. The first tip I will give you is to ignore what about 95% of people tend to do when it comes to analytics and stats and trying to manufacture something that's popular. Everybody focuses on the algorithm. They say, what is the latest YouTube uh, update? What's the latest Google update? And how do I fine tune my headline? What about that thumbnail, right? That thumbnail has to be perfectly designed to make sure that it captures people's eyes and attention. And I gotta make sure that I put all those timestamps in there and I put the right hashtags and make sure all the keywords are in there for the description, right? Those are all the things that are gonna set me up for success. No, it's none of those things. The number one thing that makes all of the difference when it comes to creating content that becomes popular, YouTube or elsewhere, is making the content good. I know that sounds really simplistic and kind of duh, but you'd be amazed at the number of people who will focus on anything and everything except for the content itself. So let's go ahead and focus on one of my more popular videos, which is one that is how to use a DSLR camera as a webcam. So the way that one kind of came about was I myself was trying to figure out how to use a DSLR camera as a webcam. And I did tons of searching. I did tons of, you know, hunting through YouTube videos and I couldn't find anything decent out there. So what did I do? I figured out how to do it. And then I created a video that was step-by-step -step as in-depth as I thought was necessary to properly cover the topic. And then I made a video about it, right? So there was a need out there. It wasn't adequately being fulfilled with the content that was out there across the web, figured out how to do it, and then showcased how to do it in a video that was as concise and as informative as I could possibly make it. So what did I do at the end of the day? I found video or I found content out there that was needed and I made it as well as I possibly could with the resources at my disposal. So that's why when I have folks come to me and they ask me about, you know, what keywords did you use, what description, what headline, I literally just created a video that I myself wanted. Now it's not gonna work out that way every time. In fact, there's been plenty of videos on this channel that I thought were great, that I thought filled a need, and that I thought were going to be 
uh, super popular and weren't. And then there's been other videos which I created rather quickly and I didn't think were going to be popular and then became more popular. So there is a lot of guesswork that goes into creating content and I'm talking specifically of course about YouTube and that's going to be completely different for something like TikTok or Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. However, it is possible. But the main thing to keep in mind is that content. I think at the end of the day, because I see so many people focusing on headlines and thumbnails and you know how many seconds should it be, how long should it be, just focus upon making something truly valuable for the people that you're trying to serve. Here's a good rule of thumb. You can throw all the thumbnails and the headlines and all that stuff out the window. And instead, think to yourself, how do I make something that I probably should charge for and give that away for free on whatever platform it is that I am working on? So I know it's a little bit simplistic for me to say, just make better content, but that really is it. Uh, there's a ton of content out there and I think with some creativity, finding who it is that you want to create content for and then creating something that is genuinely valuable for that person, particularly free of charge, not asking for anything in return, that in and of itself can help spread awareness, not only about your brand and who you are and what you do, but also to start establishing expertise in the particular field in which you work. So that's it. No clickbait, no hacks, no uh, shortcuts. That's just kind of how it works with creating content. That value is really what's going to make all of the difference. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight or maybe kind of nudges you in the right direction as you start creating your own content. So as always, if you found this video useful, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.